Hey guys, been doing a lot of S-crank style lures lately, so I thought let's kind of do a bit of a change up. We're going to go with your minnow style, more like a shad wrap or a flicker shad. I saw Berkeley has a pattern they call the red tiger. Now that's got some stripes on it, but we're going to try to get that same effect by using a wrap instead. Stick with me. Okay, this should be a fairly simple pattern to do. I already got this one painted white. I always put the white base coat on and as always use the Createx Opaque White for my base coat. That's done so we're ready to move on to colors and the first thing we're going to use is Createx Transparent Bright Red. We always start at the bottom and work our way to the top so we're going to start out with a red belly on this one. Nothing fancy, just going part way up the side as always. There we go, that's all it takes. Just put the red on the belly. Let me clean out the gun, we'll move on. Now, as I said, we're going to use a wrap to get the effect that Berkeley gets by just painting lines on. So we need to figure out what we want to show through. And in our case, we want yellow to show through. So that's what we'll paint on here next. We're going to go Createx Transparent Bright Yellow. And we'll come down the side a little ways. It's not going to cover the red very well, but then again, that isn't really our intent. And that's what we're looking for, yellow. On the top, got a red on the belly. Should have a good coat on there. All right. Now, we're going to dry this real well with the heat gun because we're going to put a wrap on it. So we're going to make sure it's good and dry before we do that. Okay, we got our red, we got our yellow, we got it dried. Now we're going to go with the wrap. So let's discuss a little bit what we're going to use. This is Ofray, O-F-F-R-A-Y, Floral Ribbon. I believe I did this one at Walmart. Now that's got a lot of glitter on it when you get it, so you really got to work it over good to get rid of the glitter. It's also got some wire on the side. You might end up cutting it off or taking that off. But I kind of like this one's a little bit different style. Sometimes you got to work them around right to get them to fit depending on the kind of lure. Should work good with the ribbon style though because it's nice and long and it's not too wide. So we're just going to come right down here and we don't care about the belly. We're not going to put any on the belly. So even though it doesn't come down very far it doesn't have to. Normally if you're painting the belly this thing is not going to be wide enough in order to get a grip but for what we're going to do this is going to work just fine. There we go. Like I said, if we were going to paint the belly, this I, don't, I won't have enough here. This is not going to work. But for the way I want to do this one, all I care about is the back. So we'll be okay. All right, let me load the gun up and we'll get ready for the next paint. Okay, we are going to switch over to the pearlized colors. And we're going to do Createx Pearlized Black. So we're going to go black right down the back. And now we're going to try to cover up all that yellow. And just leave the red on the belt. Now I've mentioned before, when you're doing a wrap, in order to get your colors to come out right, you need to paint it white first and then put your color. But in this case, black over yellow is going to work fine. If I was trying to put a light color on, then I would need to paint this white after putting on the wrap. Otherwise, nothing would show up. But when you're putting black over the top, then you do not have to paint it white first. And there we go. We're pretty much all blocked. The yellow is gone. You can still see the red on the belly. We got the red, the red and the black. Let's go ahead and Put the heat gun to this, dry it, and then we'll see what we got.
All right. Let's see what we got, huh? And there we go. Red belly. Got a little bit of the changeover and yellow on top where Berkeley put some stripes in it. We went with the wrap. I like that effect. All right, now, I've always said in the past, usually you see me, hey, we'll put the eyes in the top coat, see what we got. This time around, I'm going to put the eyes in, then I'm going to show you as I'm putting the top coat on because I've been skipping over that quite a few times. This time, we're going to do it. So stick with me yet. Now, the eyes you put in, we're going to go with some red ones here. Normally, they've got a little sticky on them, but I like to go a little extra. So here's some tacky glue, just a gel tacky glue. I'll put a little on the deal here. I just use a toothpick, and I just dab a little bit into each eye socket. I like to add just a little glue so we're not dependent entirely on the, the stickiness. They got all kinds of tools. I just use a toothpick again. Pick that eye up and set it right into place. Grab another one here. Move him into position. There we go. All right. Got the eyes. Now, I'm going to wait about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and put the top coat. I want that glue to have a little bit of time to set before I put the top coat on. Reason for that... There was one time I got in a hurry, I put the eyes in, put the top coat on real quick, walked away, came back a little bit, and my eye was sliding down the lure slowly, so I had to put it back into place and touch it up, saved it, but after that, I like to wait a few minutes, so we'll be back in a minute. All right, let's talk top coat. I use Bob Smith's Industries 30-Minute Slow Cure Epoxy. There are two styles of Bob Smith, 30 minute and five minute. You need the 30 minute because it takes you a while to get things done before it starts hardening up. A lot of discussion on this. How do you measure it? Do you go by volume? Do you go by weight so you get equal parts? Well, there's a lot of discussion, but in my case, I don't bother. In my case, I take a little of this and then take a little of that as soon as it comes out and I have two parts that's what I call that's not the right way that's my way all right see I warned you ahead of time that's not the right way to do it it's the way I do it but I've been doing this for a little while now and I throw a lot of these in the water, and I haven't had one yet that uh, I had a problem with. So, if I ever start having a problem, huh, it'll be time I probably change up what I'm doing. Give it a good mix. You don't have a ton of time. I'll tell you what, in wintertime when it's cold, if the room you're doing, warm this up. This stuff likes 70 degrees. Anything less than 70 degrees, and I will sometimes take these in the wintertime. It's a little chilly. And I've seen a microwave or a heat gun. Um, I stick mine in a little deal of hot water. Warm them up just a little bit. But summertime, usually not a problem. All right, got some on. What do I put it on with? Cheap Walmart, you know, dollar for 30 brushes or something like that. And that's it. That's all I use. And just get a good overall coating. The key is, get it on while it's still, before it starts to harden up any. Because once it starts, you want, you want enough time that when you hang this up, if you don't have a turner, if you hang it up, you want time for the epoxy to, I guess you'd say, run down or even itself out. So that's how you want to have enough on there. Give it time to do that because that way you don't have the brush strokes. Let 
You know, I'm watching what I'm doing, so whether I'm still in the camera some of the time here, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out later. And that's all it takes. Just kind of go over. you got to look it over good when you think you got it. Make sure you didn't miss any spots. And the brush strokes will even themselves out once you hang it or put it on a turner, whatever you want. All right, going to look this over really good. Make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, that looks good. Now, I don't put mine on a turner. I hang it up. So you hang on in, but I also take small wire and put a small wire through the hook. Let that hang there. And now, when everything starts to run down, it'll come down the wire and drip on down. You won't end up with such a big glob right here uh, on the end of the lure. All right. I'm going to hang it up. I'm going to let it dry. Then we'll put some hooks on it and head to the lake. Well, there we go, guys. There is the red tiger. Now, I haven't had a chance to get out and fish with it yet, but it sure looks like a catch fish. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.